Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 9th. Keep in mind that this is for around the 9th. may not be on the 9th, maybe a couple days later. We're just going to see what comes up. This is my second one. I already did one, but there's a, me a mess up in the video. So I'm going to have to do it over. So just whatever. But anyway, I saw the Justice card it was right here. The Six of Pentacles upright was right here. So somebody's about to get exactly what they deserve. And this is related to karma. And we had three fives. Okay, we had the Five of Cups. We had the Five of Swords right here under this Six of Wands. We had the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, and I use this deck. Maybe they'll come up again. The Five of Swords is, is a very dark energy. It's somebody that has a really big ego. We had the Emperor reversed right about here. The Emperor reversed is somebody who is angry, upset, self-centered, unrealistic, egotistical, manipulative, is very focused on what society has to say. Um, we have, and 555, expect the unexpected. There's about to be a major life change. Whatever is happening right now is going to change your life in a very big way. When you see 555, there will, will be some adversity that comes along with this change. So be prepared for it. This is driven by karma. It's driven by your own actions. With the Five of Swords here that we had, somebody has been, and right next to the Emperor reversed, somebody has not been caring about another person's feelings, not caring who they hurt, very much in uh, their the mindset of, I must win. It's all about power. It's all about control. Well, universal law doesn't care for that, okay? And we do have some karma that is about to be play out, and it's going to play out in a very um, pretty demanding way, if for lack of a better word. We did have the Nine of Swords. I use this deck. Maybe, hopefully, it will come up again. We have somebody here that is very scared. This person is very frightened. It's like, what's going to happen next? Very scared. And there's some abuse. There's been some sort of abuse. Uh, and I think that abuse is about to be revealed. Um, so let's see what we got. And the abuse comes in many forms. Okay. So what do we got for around the ninth? Dear God, angels. We had the Three of Swords twice. This deck has the Three of Swords in it twice. And it has the Hierophant or Faith in it twice. Seven of Wands. So being on defensive. Somebody may feel like they are being attacked. And they may feel the need to defend themselves. Everybody may be pointing their fingers at them. You may be feeling like... Um, you need to push people away. There's just too many people after you. Um, interesting. This one was there. That was one of the fives. Five of coins. This is this is a risk. Taking a risk. Because you notice there, this is like a gamble. This is a gamble. Um, in this deck. But this is also being on thin ice. And... Leaving something behind as well. Oh, here it is. This is the one that I saw. The Nine of Swords. Somebody is scared. Somebody is. Somebody is very fearful of what is going to happen next. It's like having a hard time sleeping because just, I don't even know if I dare to close my eyes. What is going to happen next? And when it is in reverse, it's even worse. It's like extremely scared, extremely worried. So exhausted, so I can't sleep at all because I'm so fearful of what is going to happen next. So we have somebody here that is in a very, very stressful situation where they they probably feel like they don't even dare to close their eyes. They need to protect themselves at all times. Um, now this is the sort of power and the sort of truth. This was in the reading as well. So there is going to be some sort of truth that is revealed. Somebody is going to receive some sort of clarity or an awakening. This was in there as well, but it was this one was upright. But this is the end of a contract. So somebody has been in a false contract and they may have been holding on to it for security reasons. 
but it feels as though this contract is probably coming to an end because that's what the lover's card in reversed is. So we have a false contract that is coming to an end. Somebody is feeling like they are under attack because the truth is being revealed. Um, Knight of Cups. Now this is a relationship, a new relationship, or wanting to build a relationship. Or this could be an offer of support. This could be emotional support coming in. This could be emotional protection. This could be protection coming in. This could definitely be protection coming in. This is a warrior. This is a protector. This is a leader. So this is making progress, moving forward. Oh, this was the first card. It was up here. Somebody is losing something. Somebody is losing something. Somebody is going to be rejected. Somebody, it's like somebody, it's like they're taking away from one and giving to another. That's what I see. Um, there's going to be some sort of rejection here. There's going to be some sort of loss. Somebody is reevaluating a person's situation. Anyway, six, six, six. Six, six, six. Lovers is a six, six, six. Six is a, a reevaluation. Something, somebody hasn't been in a place where there's very much peace or harmony. There's been no peace. There's been no harmony. There's been no balance. It's been very uh, heavy. Things have not been um, equal. There hasn't been equal give and take. There hasn't been any success. And it's like the only way to get to success is to... abandon this or, or or take it away or take it away it's like we got to get out of here we got to take this out out of here so whatever this is this is the this is the truth coming out this is a cut some sort of truth is coming out about a false contract this is emotional support coming in that's what this is emotional support coming in to protect and this is to protect and serve. This is like the leader of the troops. The commander. Taking something away. Could have to do with a child. Six of Cups has to do with children, memories, the past. Somebody's been clinging to the past. Three of coins reversed. No more working together. There's been a lack of compromise, a lack of respect, a lack of teamwork. Somebody's been refusing to work together with anybody. Now they're going to get what they deserve. There's probably going to be a relocation in the near future. There's been no growth. There's no growth left. It's harvest time. This season is over. This it, somebody has been extremely, extremely, extremely scared and stressed and worried about what is going to happen next. I feel as though we have somebody that is coming to the rescue. This is your hero. This is your hero. Somebody is coming to the rescue. And they are going to take an opportunity. And it's going to help you to relax and stop worrying. It's going to help you to break free from this mental turmoil, this trap, wherever you've been stuck. There is a relocation in the future. Somebody has been trapped in a very painful, stressful situation where they have been extremely exhausted because they can't get any sleep because they're afraid to close their eyes. Um, I feel like it's just about over. It is just about over. This stressful situation is just about over. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely it is. There's going to be a separation which is going to immediately start the healing process. Somebody has been resisting change. They've been refusing to take a new approach. They've been trying to prove a point. Uh, but their time is almost up. 
action is about to be taken. Somebody is going to take action very fast and they're going to help somebody. They're going to rescue. Somebody is coming to the rescue. And there's probably going to be some sort of conflict. There's another five for you. So there's going to be a conflict. There's going to be some sort of tension. Somebody has been really uh, struggling to let go, struggling for power, struggling to win when they really didn't need to fight in the first place. But it was all about the fight. It was all about winning, proving themselves. This has something to do with the family. There's going to be a change in the family dynamic. Something is coming to end, coming to an end. This could be the end of a relationship. Could be dealing with a Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is very assertive. She is calculating. She is wise. She is smart. She comes up with a new approach. She takes any approach that she has to take to receive the desired outcome. She is um, very, very, very powerful. She speaks the truth. Um, she sees things clearly. She's very intuitive. Um, very intelligent individual here. She is intellectual. She's an investigator. She could be a lawyer. She could be Whatever she, whoever this person is, she come, she's very assertive. She doesn't waste any time. She goes after what she wants. It may have to do with a child. I feel as though this Queen of Swords uh, has came up with some sort of plan. She's a very powerful individual. She's a force to be reckoned with. There's a new doorway opening. There's a new path. Okay? And this is this is a new enterprise. So I feel like we have a new doorway that is opening because this person takes action. She doesn't sit around and wait. She sees something and she goes for it. So I feel like there's probably going to be a new opening. There's a new opening for this person. So there's a new doorway, there's a new pathway opening, there's a new enterprise that could grow. This could also be, this is a messenger. Somebody could be receiving a message that there's that we have something for you. Definitely with the Knight of Coins, this is something you can touch. Both of these coins are reality, it's something you can touch. Somebody is about to receive something that they have been waiting for. Somebody is passing a test of some sort. Eight of Wands reversed. Somebody has been blocked. Somebody has been blocking movement. They've been blocking What have they been blocking? Somebody from coming back or somebody from leaving. They've been blocking emotional fulfillment. They've been blocking someone's happiness, right? Blocking someone's abundance. Two eights reversed. Eights are abundance. Somebody has been blocking somebody's abundance. But I feel as though there's about to be some sort of change. Action is about to be taken. And I think this Queen of Swords has something to do with it. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that, and this part, this what happens is, is this is act now, think later. I feel like this person has taken action. It has to do with a relationship. Could be a family dynamic. Could have to do with a child. I don't know what it is, but this is a new old opportunity. Somebody is going to receive a positive message. So whatever it is. Ooh, there's been an injustice. Earlier this came up. It was right here. Like that. And it was upright. This is your karma. So there's been an injustice. Somebody has not been treated fairly. Not good at all. Somebody has not been treated fairly. Somebody's been lying and there's been an injustice here. But I feel as though there is going, somebody is, 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 is coming to the rescue.
We have some jealousy issues with the Eight of Wands. Somebody has been jealous. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They have they have delayed somebody. From moving forward, they've been blocking it. They they have been. Let's clarify that Nine of Swords reversed. That is ex that Nine of Swords reversed. That is extremely exhausted. Somebody was dealing with somebody that did not have good intentions. Oh God, a Leo? Is it a Leo? I don't know if it is. But somebody that is weak, somebody that is a coward, somebody that has a self-image problem. Justice is about to be served. Could be dealing with a Libra, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, and or Aquarius. I feel like there is about to be some karma here. There's about to be some karma that is delivered. Uh, somebody hasn't been acting with integrity. Somebody hasn't, this is lack of integrity and this is a lack of integrity. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. It's like they've been keeping somebody in prison. Lack of love. We're definitely dealing with a child here. There's no love. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. But she knows the truth. And there is going to be a message that is delivered. I feel as though help is arriving. Somebody hasn't been getting the love that they deserve. And they've been they've, they've been thinking about walking away. They've been blocking someone from being loved. And I think there's about to be some sort of uh, battle. I do. I think there's going to be some sort of battle. I think there is somebody that is arriving to help. This is emotional support. One more card. Hermit reverse. This is some sort of crisis, midlife crisis. Somebody is about to uh, be rejected by the looks of things. They're about to face a rejection or a loss of some sort. Somebody has not acted with integrity and karma is about to be served. And that is the message of this day. Expect the unexpected, please. Expect the unexpected. Good luck.